So Cocaine Bear, here I am with my review for this movie. You all know the film, you've heard of it. You can't not have heard of this film coming because of its ludicrousness. Now, um, I've watched it. I'm here with you for my thoughts. Now, did this film leave me high or did it leave me overdosed on nonsense? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and welcome to this here review for um, Elizabeth Banks directing her new film, Cocaine Bear, opened on the 24th of February. Um, this film comes at us rated 15, one hour, 35 minutes, with a $35 million budget. The film is a thriller, comedy. Um, it's about a bear gets high on cocaine and goes on a cocaine fueled rampage of death and destruction. Um, the film is loosely based upon um, actual events in that um, cocaine was thrown out of an aeroplane into a forest, a bear did um, consume the cocaine and thusly died after. That's as far as the, the truth in this story goes. Um, but this film here is kind of a what if that um, bear enjoyed the coke, got onto, got addicted to the coke, went on a rampage fueled bender um, because of this cocaine. Um, now obviously there's a human element to this movie. And boy is there a human element to this movie. Um, this film has a story with cops, criminals, tourists, teens. Um, there's so many characters in this film. It, 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 feels overstuffed to a degree. Um, the film stars individuals like Kerry Russell, Ray Liotta, the late Ray Liotta I might add, um, Alden Ehrenreich who was solo in Star Wars Solo, um, um, and a wealth of other character actors. The film is set in the mid-1985s. I will say that this was Ray Liotta's final film um, a week before his um, unfortunate death he actually filmed his lines in post-production um, and, and then sadly passed away and what a great loss that was I, I can't not say that this film was written by Jimmy Walden and like I said it is delivered directed by actress and director Elizabeth Banks um, the directing in the film is fine she's a, she's a competent director um, she's got a good eye um, I, I can't fault that. Now, this film here, it's a film of two halves because it is so overstuffed, like I said, with this human element that you start to wonder, where is the bear? Where's There's so many characters introduced that for me to go into it and talk about each of these characters would just extend this review massively. Um, it's, it's, it's a very, got a very overstuffed plot in that sense. And all we really want is some bear action. Now, I'm a lover of films where animals go on a sort of tirade, when they go on a, a, a rampage. Um, those sort of films appeal to me, and this film is of no exception in that sense. However, I, I watched it, and I was hating on it in the first half of this movie. I, I didn't like what I was seeing. Um, I do think the last third of the film ups it a bit because that's where you get generally the sort of stuff you've come in for, the stuff that you want to watch. There are some great set pieces. There's a set piece in an ambulance um, where the bear's chasing the ambulance. That was really good. That was fun. That's probably the highlight of the movie. Um, all the actors are fine there's no really there's no bad performances within the film it's like everyone's there they know what they're in they know that they're having fun um but for me i don't know if this film works or not like i said it's a film of two halves i don't like the start i don't like the probably first two thirds very much but i enjoyed the finale more so than everything else um 
So this is a very middle of the road film. I will say that, that the highlight of the film for me was seeing Alden Ehrenreich again in something. He was fantastic in this film and that guy does deserve to be doing more. Um, so much so that I would really like to see him return as Han Solo. But I digress. Um, uh, I, I really don't know what to say. I really am on the fence with this movie. Um, would I recommend it? Well, I'd recommend any... Uh, well, uh, I'm funny when it comes to recommendations of films because I believe everyone should watch a film and make up their own minds on it because sub the subjective nature of movie just suggests that anyway. But um, is it a film that I would end up owning in my collection? I think I'd need to give it another watch um, before anything else, but that'll be somewhere down the line. Um, it's probably something that if, if I did enjoy, I'd pick up again further down the line than that in a sale or something like that. Because like I said, I am a fan of this, this sort of genre of movie, but not a fan of how heavily stuffed this was with characters and, um, you know, so many people that no one's really got the opportunity for too much growth within it. Um, and that part is, is a shame. But there we go. Um, there's my thoughts on this film. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will find it to be an extremely fun movie. Um, but then it gets you thinking. What other films could you do of this ilk? I think there's a shark film coming. Um, <laughs> there's a, a riff on this one. Um, yeah, but what others? Could you think of any good sort of drug come animal um crossover films i mean i've got one for you and again he makes an appearance but there we go how about speed tortoise kind of a, a sort of of um there's a sort of poetry to that isn't there considering they're um considered to be considerably slow animals but there we go so have you got any good ideas for crossovers um you know animal crossovers and please no one say Viagra Dolphin, because I know where that comes from. This is AJ. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care all, and goodbye.